is Max or Sithman36, and I am back in the world of Minecraft. Um, so recently, during the time we we're gone, I have made this entirely flat world, which seems to be refusing to load. Um, but it is, I guarantee, entirely flat. And on this entirely flat world, blah blah blah. blah, blah and on this entirely flat world, we have built ourselves some adventure maps or attempts. But today we're going to be focusing on mine, which is called Death from the Side. Uh, so what this adventure map is, is basically you spawn over here, you just walk over here, step on a little piece of stone, and you go up here. There's these two doors that are locked, and then this door. And you basically just adventure map. You, uh, this is the first course, uh, which I suck at. Kind of like all the other courses, but, uh, you just try to... Oh, shit! Oh, fail. You just... Yeah. Um, you go up on this glass thing. Just a jump course. You know the drill. Next, we have... You land in the fountain of youth with squids in it, who are clearly in need of youth. Because they're in the fountain of you. Oh my god. The squid is blocking me from air. That is unsafe. That's very unsafe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my. This is a fit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just pretend that never happened. Come over here. Or prepare to fail. Okay. And then you gotta go up here. Little ladder course. This was my first adventure map I've ever even like attempted to make at all. So I just kind of. Did all the cliches. I wasn't really looking for originality. But these two are kind of boring, you know. And then, this is where it gets interesting. Right about here. Because I decided I was going to add a checkpoint system. So basically, you click this. And now when you die, you go over here. And this door is open that was locked before. And you can, you know, go back to where you were. Uh, also, we have... The glass water maze thing. Yes, so it's a glass maze made out of with water in it. I'm not going to show you the way because that would take away from the magicness. The magicness. So anyway, you end up after the maze in this room. This room is my favorite by far. It is, as you can see from back here, it is a clock that I timed perfectly with all of these repeaters so that... These pistons that push netherrack push out at the right time so that you can run across. So you basically stand here and you run across and you try to find the gaps so that you don't get pushed off into the water. Like that. Uh, it's really hard. Like, very hard. Like, I've had a ton of people uh, try to do it and only three have done it. But it's really cool. It's really fun when you get it too. Basically, you end up doing this and click the button, go in here. Final room. Basically, another checkpoint that leads back so you can walk back and such. Unlocks the other door. You guys know the drill. But uh, basically, you stand back here and you have to time it. Oh, failure. But you have to time it. By the way, you're supposed to be on survival mode when you play this, but since I was making it, I'm on creative, but... You know, uh, so you have to time it so that you don't fall in the lava like that. Uh, but I'm not very good at this one either. I this one most people can get this one though. Ooh ah, God, ah, 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 what is going on? Don't even know. Okay, you know what? I give up. But you guys know the drill. Basically, you go through here, you do the adventure map, and you. Do the little sprint jump thing. You do it. So that's just like my little first mini adventure map. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. My name is Max or Sithman36 and Death from the Side.